Welcome back, YouTube. Today we're going to be watching another Brandon Herrera video. I probably butchered his name again. I apologize. And we're going to be watching his I accidentally blew up my gyro jet. I don't know what that is. I mean, yes, Twitch chat, get it out. Get it out. Tell YouTube. Without further ado, let's get into it. What's going on, guys? Many moons ago, on an episode of Cursed Gun Images, we showed you this gun. I was quick to point out that's not actually a cursed gun image, but in fact a real weapon that was made called the gyro jet. It, it, no, it's called a woman. That that is called a woman. The deadliest thing on the planet, a woman. Yeah. And I said if we got to a certain light goal, that I would buy one and we would do a video dedicated to the gyro jet. But we hit that goal, and I bought one. I swear, like a year and a half ago. <laughs> We've been busy, we had a lot going on with wow. the channel, we kind of, I forgot about it. But today it is my pleasure to show you the Gyrojet. Ooh, behold. Fancy. My stuff. Isaac got holes in it. This bad boy is the real MBA Gyrojet rocket pistol, and today, we're gonna shoot it. So now it's time to do our first white claw penetration test, really our <laughs> first breathe. shot ever out of the Gyrojet Mark I. But you know, I feel like a piece of history like this deserves a little bit more high quality production, something to really capture exactly what's going on inside this thing. If only we had experts in high speed footage, specifically ballistic high speed. <gasps> wait, 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 wait. <gasps> That's right, we've got the guys from Ballistic High Speed out here helping us out with a little bit of the slow-mo shot. So this should be one for the history book. So uh, that being said, inaugural round. A, let's see if it fires. B, let's punch a white claw. But before we get too far, let's answer the basic question, what is a gyrojet? And what is Aleppo? Well, to my understanding, in the what 1960s, is Aleppo? Uh, there was a lot of weird prototypes. Weapons Wasn't this, hang on. Yeah, it's Gary Johnson where he's like, do you know what Aleppo is? And he's like, I don't, what? Like, this is a guy who's running for presidency, and he doesn't know what Aleppo is. Like, yeah, I kind of ruined your candidacy if you can't answer questions like that, my guy. This is why I didn't vote for you. And, I mean, there's a lot of reasons. Also, you know, don't really usually vote for third parties because it's kind of a waste to vote, but that's my opinion, so, uh... But yeah. it was Aleppo. Well, to my understanding, in the 1960s, uh, there was a lot of weird prototypes. Weaponry was in a weird phase, and the government was looking into all sorts of things, including... Basically, they wanted a ray gun. Ooh. Along comes a company called MBA, and they're like, well, we don't have a fucking ray gun, but uh, I got a handgun that shoots rockets. And the government was like, hmm, it's not what we asked for. We'll have a thousand, please. Yes, this bad boy. Did I, I want to hear more about the ray gun, though. Does not shoot traditional ammunition, but instead shoots projectiles like this. You see, there's no bullet. There's no casing. The entire thing is the projectile. It's got a oh. primer in the back that ignites four distinct rockets. They're drilled in at an angle so that it actually spins and the rockets themselves rotate and stabilize the bullet in flight, meaning that there's no actual rifling in the barrel. And it's been told oh. to me that despite being kind of weird, these bad boys can pack a serious punch. So let's find out. Three, two, one. <gasps> Holy shit. Yeah. Yeah, that it. was hot. That was hot to shoot. What's that? It looked like a laser. Really? Yeah. Oh, I can't wait to fucking see that. And it's it's crazy. There's no ejection either. There's no fucking. It's all just one projo. Oh. That was cool. So you don't have to worry about having like anything eject out of it. Any any like remnants from the casing. It just shoots. It doesn't need to have an ejection port. I, I don't know if the word is ejection port, but you know what I mean. So it 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 just shoots all bullet. One hundred percent bullet. Wow. Wow. Hmm. More bullet means more death. More bullet equals more bang for your buck. I like it. Cool. That was physically hot. Like, I felt like somebody had a, uh, a hair uh, hair dryer in my face for like half a second. Would I describe it as fun to shoot? Yeah. If it like, wasn't $200 like... a round, would you just go out to the range and... Yeah. Shoot. No, totally. Oh, <laughs> oh really? Is it that cool? That looks fucking cool. <laughs> Give me one second. All right, all right, all right. I can tell you this. If Bryce gets excited about it, it's going to look pretty cool. Fuck yeah. yeah. I look very nervous. <laughs> Are you ready? Oh, <laughs> what the fuck? 
Oh my Holy god! Shit. Yes! That is awesome. You can see the heat waves. You can see it accelerating. Oh my god. So what were you just saying about what uh, the internet says about the gyro jet at close range? So I've read a few times that the gyro jet's not lethal within like 10 yards or so, just because it takes so long for the projectile to accelerate. Huh. I don't know, that looked like it hit it pretty good. It split the white claw cannon in half. So I'm going to have pretty decent. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be downrange from it. I think a lot of it's probably. I would not want to be a white claw. Going through liquid. Yeah. That just. And you oh. could see it coming out of the gun. I haven't seen that footage yet, though. I know, but they're freaking out like a bunch of fucking apes. So I'm really curious now. Ape together strong. Ape together strong. Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> what is it doing? That is the most beautiful white claw penetration test we have ever done. <gasps> Oh my god! That's beautiful! Wow! It, yeah, because it's spiraling. Because that's what stabilizes that's it, I think. So, cool. huh. so we just had our big range day, and Dude. Ballistic Dummy Labs was nice enough to leave out. Wait, before he continues, before he continues. So wait, this is what a Bolger Ram was based off of? Really? Oh, wow. Okay. Interesting. I like that it goes with the projection. Why is this not more commonly used? Is it, is it more expensive? Is it heavier? Is it like, oh, okay, sure, we can have these, but we could also just have a lot more regular bullets that we could carry a lot more expensive? That makes sense. But wait, but don't we just give like a blank check? Like, I love our military, but don't they get like a lot of, a lot of funding? Could they not afford this? Harder to manufacture and very unreliable. Now those, I understand then why they don't use it. The expensive, I get why I don't own it. And I was like, the military, I feel like they could afford it. But if it's unreliable and just hard to make, you can't get that much of it, then that would make sense. Hmm. There were issues with the gun not being lethal at close range. It wasn't uh, consistent and unreliable. Okay, yeah, and what you want from a gun and a bullet in active combat is you want it to consistently kill. <laughs> Out some uh, gel blocks, some of those, uh, some of that fake titty gel, here for us to shoot with the gyro jet and capture for That's all a of hard history, titty. Uh, for firearm development. That's a history, tough titty right exactly there. Exactly what this does to a gel block at super high speed. I'm super excited to get this footage. So from what we were able to tell, this gun is actually remarkably quiet. Uh, I, enough so that I think I'm going to try it without ear pro because I think it might even be hearing safe with no suppressor, no anything. Which makes sense because right out of the barrel. You know, it, it doesn't reach the sound barrier. So yeah, that's uh, we're fair. gonna try it, see if it's hearing safe. Uh, that might be a mistake, but I already have to sleep with a fan on high, so it's I can't lose much more. The sh I like how he's like, yeah, we're gonna see if it's hearing safe by me testing to see if it's hearing safe. Okay. What can I do for science? For there you are devices guys, for you. that. Firing in three, two, one. Is he that missed? one? I think misfired at some degree. Cause that, that burned my hand. We're literally watching the high speed to figure out what the fuck happened. Oh yeah, yeah I that's see weird. the trace. It's right here on the very side and then out. Yeah, I, I could, I felt it right there in the magazine where my finger was right here. I felt that burn, which is why <laughs> safety first, we're wearing gloves. Now if you're wondering where I got the protective gloves I'm wearing in this video, I got it from my monthly tack pack. Don't look at this, this is mine. Get your own. Just kidding, with tack pack you can get stuff like sweet sweat. Razor electronic earmuffs, so you don't have to sleep with the big E like I do. Air 15 grips, a sweet tumbler that'll get you stopped at TSA. Laser rangefinder, Raptor charging handle, NBA AR safety, and totally not a can of Zims. You get all sorts what? of stuff like this on a monthly basis just for signing up with TechPack. And new subscribers can use code AKGUY to get an extra box of sweet tactical goodness. So check them out using the links in the description and in the pinned comment. We appreciate them sponsoring the video. Back to the gyro jet. How was it? Does anyone remember Loot Crate? Is Loot Crate still a thing? I remember I got like four of those in my life and then I stopped getting it. And they gave me a Thanos Infinity Gauntlet. Like, uh, what do you call it? Uh, for cooking, cooking mitten. And it didn't work. It was flammable. It was bad. Is that the same thing? But for like gun stuff? Interesting. For your ears behind it. Uh, it wasn't very bad over there. Dude, honestly, it wasn't bad. Like, I wouldn't say necessarily hearing safe, but honestly, like, I've heard suppressed weapons that were louder than that. Would yeah, he you still around? That one took a weird angle. Weird yeah, turn. the value's probably gone down. You can totally see the acceleration. Yeah. Rip. 
That definitely looked like not all of the jets fired or something weird happened with it. Huh. Can you see it barely hit? It barely penetrated and then skipped out, kind of like me. Yeah, <laughs> I like how he still goes. Oh, all right, no, no, that's no, kind of- Play that again, play that again. I like, I like how it just still out. goes, watch. Kind of like me. All right, that's kind of cool. Oh. It destabilized so hard. Yeah. It almost like it, it almost righted itself though. If you looked at it, yeah. like it was trying to keep going. Like that forward momentum was keeping it straight. Hey, welcome, Rope. Because it, it went way up, but it also like tried to tip back down. I spend well, money like, on the audio device. You can just have two built into in your head. Back, like by the firing pin, you could tell this thing's seeing some heat now. I don't know if this thing's ever been fired before just by looking at it. Now a quick how to use the gyro jet, just in case you know you ever are in a survival situation and the only thing you've got to defend yourself is a prototype rocket pistol. You never know, weirder things have happened. This is a gyro jet Mark I. It's actually a pretty early one, judging by the serial number A023. Our hammer is internal, so you see this right here? Instead of being in the rear, the hammer is in the front. That's and it's odd. set like so, so that when you fire it, it releases and pushes forward on the projectile, which huh. push up our loading gate here. It actually pushes the projectile backward onto the firing pin, which is recessed back in here. So that strikes the primer, ignites the rockets, and it pushes it out, which then resets the hammer. This here is actually the follower, and this uh, little tab here is how you can load the magazine in the body of the handle like so. Here's your safety, pretty easy, on and off. Now you're killing, now you ain't. So that, my friends, is pretty much everything you need to know to operate a gyro jet rocket pistol. Firing, three, two, one. Oh, it looks like it just stopped. All right. Uh, How the fuck? Wow. That is liquefied. <laughs> no, no, there's no, there's no rockets behind it. There's no motor. That's crazy. Okay, so it literally just stuck in the front. You can tell it went in about yay far. Wow. And then came back out. What the shit? Sometimes failures are cooler than successes. Right? Um, I think I would have liked it to see it go. That. You sound like my parents. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! That went further than I thought it did. Ow, now my chest It looks like it didn't penetrate at all. Oh. And then now watching this, it actually went pretty pretty far some would say too far actually some might say that would hurt okay um <laughs> i think that would hurt the deep ones hurt me that's all right it's not like these things are like 200 bucks a piece let's try again i think this bad boy came with like 17 rounds but that's a really good thing because like i think when you can find them you can't just buy ammo for this shit so when you can find them they're like 150 200 bucks per round meaning that this is like 20 times more expensive to shoot per round than a 50 cal oh. I felt that one again. That was a fucking clean one. Yes. That was that was money. That's the money shot there. That was the money shot. What? Oh is God. That? Get up in there. This is IMAX. Get right? up in there. Oh. oh. Yeah. No, you're dead. Or you're you're you. You're gonna be in a lot of pain. Oh, that is weird. That is the only projectile I've ever seen do anything like that. It's so stable for so long. Yeah, That's it's like going through more butter. stable than some just regular projectiles I've it's, seen. Well, it still has force pushing against its stabilization surface. Yeah. Oh. That extra distance definitely gains some speed. Oh, that thing went <laughs> that thing went up and over. That oscillation is what we heard. It was like Yeah, I remember hearing that it sounded like fucking Looney Tunes. Are we hitting a dummy head now? Yeah, I think, uh, oh, no. Adam, you want to do it? I think that rocket's small enough. I can take it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's going to shoot at him. <laughs> so, obviously never done this. Walk me through what we're doing here. Yeah, so we're going to just take the, the little projectile here, load it through the little side gate, like so. And, of course, the hammer here is already forward. That's going to push this back, and then it's going to ignite it. It's basically just like a miniature rocket. 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 Rocket, 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 rocket. Firing in three, two, one. 
Oh, my <laughs> jaw. Oh. You do get a, a right? wave. It feels hot, right? It does, yeah. Felt like I was driving through Africa again. <laughs> yeah. I hit a little below the ear. Did it go through? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, right right out right in jaw. one ear and out the other. And you can see behind the skull is very clearly fractured. Oh, thanks for letting me shoot it. No, dude, of course. <laughs> thanks for coming out, man. Yeah. I didn't realize it was going to be that heavy, and I'm kind of glad it was because I think I kind of like dipped it a little. I think I dipped a little, and I was like, okay, hold on. You can be scared later. Get the shot done. <laughs> <laughs> Fear is for later. Oh. You can tell he's a little worried. Is this, is this how elastic our skin is? Like, if, hypothetically speaking, if I got shot by a gun, is my skin gonna go this far out? What the? Ow! I, I bit my tongue not too long ago, and this is making my mouth hurt. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Jeez. Oh. Jesus. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> oh my. You took bones off. Look how white it is. Wow. Oh, look at that jaw drop. Oh, yeah. That kind of looked like I was just going to say you've looked like that before. <laughs> Jesus. Not even kidding. <laughs> now, by now, you're probably thinking, dude, the gyro jet is really cool, but there's no way the sucker actually saw any sort of service, right? It's where you might be wrong. In fact, there are photos of gyro jets floating around Vietnam, including <clears throat> one being held by a Medal of Honor recipient. Meaning wow. that there is a non-zero percent chance that a gyro jet was carried in Vietnam by a Medal of Honor recipient during the actions that got him his Medal of Honor. Do I have proof for that? Absolutely not, other than the photo. Is it my head cannon? Yes, absolutely it is. Speaking of head. <laughs> so no head? <laughs> I started the flinch, but I corrected. That was a good trigger bolt. Oh! Oh! That was so clean, I thought he missed! Oh, dude, something stuck in your throat? Oh my god, ow! Oh my god, that was so clean, it just went all the way through and hit the back that I didn't even realize it went through the neck. Oh, that guy's gonna bleed out, ooh. Firing in three, two, one. <gasps> hey, that's what we're after. That's Ooh, so clean. We go. We're gonna need to wash off Demo's table here. Look at that. Check it out. He's still fucking squirting. He's a, he's a little squirty boy. Wait, you found it? I found it. What the shit? Yeah. How? It was sitting right on top. No shit. Yep. There you go. It's right there, and it is hot. Cool. Oh, yeah, wow. Oh, is that yeah. another one? I think that's another one. No. Oh, wait, it, is it? It totally is. Oh, it totally fucking is. Holy yeah. shit. That is mushroomed like crazy huh. right up. Yeah, that is very hot. I did not expect to recover any of these. This is uh, pretty so neat. It, I'm realizing it kind of sounds like when you pull the trigger and you shoot, it sounds kind of like what you think of a silenced pistol sounding like in a video game. You know, where it's like, it just goes like, beep, beep. It's a little bit louder. But like taking it down just a tiny bit, and maybe it's the, the audio and the compression, maybe it's louder in person, I, I don't know. But it kind of does sound like what you would think from, you know, like the John Wick movies. While the John Wick movies, very realistic in a lot of the stuff they do. They're, you know, the silence pistol, the shooting in broad daylight without anyone realizing and stuff like that, obviously is not very realistic. But it's kind of the fake silence sound that you think of in video games and movies, but not necessarily realistic. Hmm. What we need to do, if you're okay with it, yeah. is get an ultra high speed <laughs> muzzle exit. You know, actually yep. see this rotating slowly. Absolutely. You wanna do that? Yeah, sure. Okay. Whatever you need. Sweet. Three, two, one. Ow! Bitch! What happened? That was the first uh real fucking malfunction. Holy shit, look at this. You ever wanted to see what the inside of one of these rounds looks like? There you go. God damn. Oh wow. Check that out, that's plastic back of the rocket, uh, where the rocket motors are, primer blown out.
<laughs> oh yeah, wow. That little piece popping out. Yeah, but I mean, we can see definitely nothing came out, so. Yeah, that's wild. Did it hurt? Yeah. Oh, the little piss baby, did your fucking did, widow rocket did, blow up? Did your widow rocket oh. blow up in the tube? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one. There we go. Better? Much better. Okay. Let's see, I want to see. Where is it? Where is it? <gasps> oh, that's beautiful. That's so cool. It's like an SAS system for a rocket. This, this music's gonna get copyrighted. Oh, it's like sputtering. Oh, you can actually see it activate. That's crazy. Three, two, one. <laughs> there we go. Is that a a little, little jittering yeah, of the yeah. hand. Go back, go back. Look, look, look. Oh my god, he, he is nervous now. Now that he's been hit by the rocket, I mean, he is shooting, you know, a rocket. Uh, yeah, he's, he's, he's a little nervous. Fair, you know, rightfully so. There we go. Is that a good shot? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Felt like it. A little bit heavy on the burn, but yeah, whatever. Well, that's a, that's a bit problematic. I thought that spell that felt like a spicy fucking round. Where were you? Wait, the what in? fell out? Wait, 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 what did he say? It was heavy on the burn because the barrel flew out? What the fuck? Yeah, I'm seeing why they didn't use this. It's it's not very consistent, a lot of malfunctions and uh, damage to the user. I I see why. Can we see the barrel yeah, fly out? <coughs> felt like it. A little bit heavy on the burn, but yeah, whatever. No, okay. Alright. Well that's uh that's a bit problematic. I thought that spell that felt like a spicy fucking round. Where were you literally aiming? My my point of aim was like right here. That's hot. Yep, that's I think it. we found it. I found it. Oh my. Holy shit. I can't believe that was the barrel. Dude, what is keeping this barrel in? Nothing apparently. Is it just a press I mean, fit? I don't see I don't see any pin grooves, any shoulders. What? The only thing I see is that little. Is it glued? It's like a little, like maybe that was folded over, holding it in. Like you look at, there's something oh, yeah. at the very bottom that looks that's, like it retained that's it. That's exactly what that was. It was just a little tiny tab. Are you serious? That's. I, I think they were expecting the barrel to not uh, see any force. That's a terrible design. Well, I mean that checks out with clearing the malfunction a minute ago. It was designed as though it was never going to have a malfunction. Well, that's it was stupid. Very difficult to get it out. Well, I mean that looks simple enough to make a new one just to have it. Yeah. We can rebuild her. We have the technology. Yes. Well, there's your, uh, there's your gun-shaped object back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine getting hit with that. Oh my god, the biggest bullet. Yep, the rocket's still in the stuck in the barrel. Yeah. I, I have no idea how that happened. That looks like those videos when they unclog the sewers and just the log oh coming my God, out. It does. <laughs> well, for the time that we had a functional gyro jet, I'm glad we were able to capture so much high speed footage because you know these things really are just pieces of history. That there are not a lot of these around. The ammunition is basically non existent. So the fact that we were able to capture it on high speed yeah. is all thanks to you guys. Yeah, so thank got, you so much. We've got cool muzzle exits. we got gel blocks, which is very traditional. We've got ballistic dummy heads. We even got a failure. Like what else could you get in one day with a gyro jet? Yeah, I mean, realistically. true. Yeah. <laughs> we just appreciate you guys being on the channel. If you guys are not familiar, these are the ballistic high speed gentlemen. They have a YouTube channel. Uh, they've got a history with rockets. If you haven't been able to tell with the innuendo, uh, you should definitely go check them out. We just appreciate you guys being on the channel, guys. Cool. Yeah, thanks, thanks so much for having us. Yeah. No, of course. Cool. But anyways, thank you guys so much. And uh, yeah, I guess I will see you sexy YouTube mother lovers in the next video. Here Run! Run! Huh? Oh, are we running? Fuel is my obsession to make the perfect weapon like us put in All right, well, that was cool. That was cool. He has a YouTube. True, He. Ha I I'm assuming he does have a YouTube since they talked about it. We should go check it out. But uh, thank you for watching, YouTube. That was interesting. It, I, you know, when I heard explosion, I thought it was going to go like, boom, like, boom.
And, you know, in hindsight, I'm glad that didn't happen because that would hurt the guy. That would hurt Brandon. So I'm glad that that didn't happen. But uh, that was the silliest malfunction I have ever seen of a gun. Uh, just takes the barrel with the bullet. Like, yeah, I loved it. It was a very good. It was very good. You got excited shit gonna, gonna go boom. So good. But thank you for watching, YouTube. And, uh, you know, if you're interested, maybe come by the stream or join the Discord. Uh, like and subscribe, yada, yada, yada. Leave any other recommendations down in the comments down below. And until next time, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day. Bye-bye.